Hey guys, how are you doing? It's uh, Gavin from Start Fresh Personal Training. And today's blog is going to be about the three critical elements that you need to be successful in your weight loss journey. So, you've probably already heard of um, exercise and nutrition and all those sorts of things, but there's one really important one there that uh, people don't normally talk about. And that's going to be mindset. So, what do I mean by mindset? Well, talking from personal experience, I was always um, a, a fat kid, I guess. Um, you know, my, uh, my family were big into dieting, yo-yo dieting, up and down, uh, put weight on, lose lots of weight, put weight on, lose lots of weight. So, when, um, you know, obviously I, I just thought that that's exactly how I was going to be. Um, I go on a diet if I need to lose some weight, um, and once I got off the diet, I put the weight back on, and I accepted that as a reality. But as, a, as time went on, I realized that didn't have to be the case. And... At the end of the day, your, um, your past failures um, make no impact on your future successes, which basically means that just because you've always done it that way, it doesn't mean you always have to do it that way. So, when, um, when I realized this, obviously I, I, I sought out new ways to do things and decided that an overall approach was what I needed and that was a healthy lifestyle. Um, and something triggered in my mind that um, I needed to stop this horrible yo yo back and forth back and forth and i was unhappy overweight didn't know you know some days jeans would fit some days they wouldn't um so i, I made a decision that the pain i was in when you know the lack of certainty around my weight fluctuating left right and center um and that that pain sort of drove me drove me to you know get educated learn how to train properly learn how to eat properly um and basically, that, that pain carries me to this day. Um, I look at old photographs now and, and just can't believe the size I was. Um, and now, it's been at least what, five or six years where I've managed to maintain my weight easily. And it doesn't have to be difficult. It just means that you need, in your mind, to make a decision that you're sick of being the way you were and that you're going to do everything you can to move forward and, and change it. Um, you know, and that comes from your mindset. At the end of the day, your thoughts um, and actions go to what you think about most. So if you think that you're going to be a yo-yo diet or you think that you can't lose weight, that's exactly what will happen. But if you think that you can do it, um, you will do it. You'll find a way to do it. Um, and if you found this, uh, this, this video log, then you know, I, I'll be able to help you do that as well. But it has to come from inside. Um, with all the nutrition advice and exercise advice in the world, unless you can decide to take action on doing those things, you're never going to change. Um, which leads me on to, you need to raise your standards. And not to say you've got low standards anyway, but you know, don't settle for the yo-yo diet. Don't settle for um, you know, not being able to fit into your clothes and then dieting and struggling. You're better than that. You need to pick up your game, decide right now that I'm not going to be that person anymore and do what you can to do it. Which leads me on then to exercise. Once you get your mindset, mindset right, the next thing that comes, you need to exercise. Um, and what do I mean by exercise? Well, you need to move more. I mean, think about it. You know, in the morning, you get up, you have your breakfast, you jump in a car, you drive to work, sitting down. You get into work, you sit down. You go for dinner, you sit down. You get back in the car, you sit down, you get home in the evening, you sit down. You're not moving. So, you know, when you're eating, you know, you're not using the energy up throughout the day. So move more. Um, even if you get up in the morning and do a five minute walk, run the block, just get your metabolism going, get yourself, you know, fresh and everything else. And then, and then go through it. Take the lift, uh, sorry, take the stairs at work and not the lift. Um, park your car a little bit further away. Um, and, and walk that little bit extra and if you've got a sedentary desk job what I highly recommend you do and it'll give you your mind a bit of a break as well is every 45 minutes go and walk up and down the stairs in the block for, for a minute that's all it's going to take now if you do that throughout the day you know maybe eight nine times a day over an eight hour shift that's eight or nine minutes of exercise you're getting in that you wouldn't normally be doing and then you know, then you need to do some real exercise. Then you need to get yourself in into the gym, or just find a space at home that you can work out in. You don't need any equipment at all. If um, when you're starting out, you just need to do some squats, some press ups, some dips on the chair, 
um, you know, and go for 15 to 20 minutes. Start uh, using the muscles in your body, the, the big muscles, your back, your chest, your legs. Get all those things moving. The more muscles you can work at any one time, the more calories you burn, um, the more uh, metabolic carryover it has as well. And when you start to exercise, you start to build muscle. And as I said before, you don't have to be massive to, you know, to have these effects, but just a little bit of small muscle mass on your body will burn more calories at rest. Um, so if you're one of those people that like to go out and do a big long jog for half an hour, just stop doing it. Go and sprint 15 minutes and sprint. Do sprint laps, sprint laps. That will have a much better overall effect because when you do steady state cardio, um, which just means jogging consistently or cycling consistently for a set amount of time, once you stop exercising, your body stops, um, basically uh, your metabolism just stops there and then. But if you work at a higher intensity, your body's having to catch up. So for a long time after that workout, you're burning calories because you're, you're trying to oxidize your body fat stores to replace the energy that you just burned out in that really difficult session. So again, when I say difficult, it's relative to you. It doesn't have to be you know, crazy extreme workouts. It just needs to be challenging. You need to be out of breath. And if you're on a scale of uh, one to 10, one being really, really easy, 10 being really difficult, you know, a seven or eight will probably cut it and, and that'll be perfectly fine to start off with. I need to be doing that at least three times a week. Um, okay, so once you've got your mindset sorted, you start your exercise regime, now you get your nutrition. So with the nutrition, you don't have to worry about crazy fat diets. Um, I've done a fair few of them and realized that they didn't work. They're all very, very short term. So a low carbohydrate diet, very, very short term. You can't do it for too long. Not to say people don't, it's just very, very difficult. Um, with that, you know, your social situations become hard. Um, you know, you, you can't have that bit of cake or bit of biscuits or whatever it is that you want, you know, occasionally. Although, you know, you need to take them out of your diet from, for the most part. So you need to eat whole foods. So whole foods don't have to be boring. You're not looking at chicken, rice and broccoli, although they would come under whole foods. You could quite easily make that chicken rice and broccoli into a stir fry, or it could be a soup, or you know, it could you could roast them together. It could all be things. But it don't it doesn't have to be boring. Um, you know, use your use your mind. Look up look up recipes, um, and, and basically make it work for yourself. But if you're eating some good quality protein in the terms of chicken or beef or fish, uh, some good quality complex carbohydrates like um, like rice and sweet potatoes and pumpkin and all and vegetables um, and leafy greens like kale and spinach and silver beet. Um, if if that's what your your meal is going to consist of mostly, you're never going to have a problem with overeating. So I'm not saying you need to be a machine either. I mean, if you think like for me, for argument's sake, I eat probably six times a day. Um, so over the course of a week, that's about 42 meals. Not every single 42 of those meals have to be perfect. Um, you know, on a weekend I may have a takeaway or whatever else. But, you know, if I'm hitting 35, 38 out of those 42 meals, you know, as healthy meals, it's going to be perfectly fine. Same again if you want a snack. You know, if you want a, a little snack or twice a week, go and do it. You know, if it saves your sanity, then get it done. So, that's pretty much what I want to talk about today. I mean, like I said, it's three critical elements. Mindset, exercise, nutrition. And like I said, the exercise and nutrition, you know, is completely out the window unless you use your brain, use your mind. Um, so how you, so like I said, go back to it. Think about something that really pains you. It could be. I'm gonna harp on about this because that's what's really gonna trigger your, um, your your new sort of lifestyle. If it's the sick of the sight when you look yourself in the mirror without your t-shirt on, um, it's an old photograph, or it's somebody, you know, your, your other half has said you you're looking a bit overweight. Or somebody's made fun of you, whatever it is, use that as the energy and the, the motivation you need to make those changes. Um, and just work at it. Every single day is a new day. And, you know, it's not going to be perfect to start with. Um, you're going to have road bumps, you're going to have days where you don't feel like it. But as I say, if you raise your standards and be the person that you said you're going to do something, I am going to make changes in my lifestyle. Be that person, you know, be, be honest to yourself. Um, have a bit of integrity around it, raise your standards, you're, you're, you're far more capable than you think you are and you know, get rid of the old I can't do it, you can do it, everyone can do it, you just need to you know, put a little bit of effort in, 
find something that really pains you and find a real reason. And once you do that, exercise and nutrition will fall, fall in place and those small changes will radiate out. Um, and you know, before you know it, you've lost, lost some weight, you're feeling better, you're looking better um, and it's sustainable. It, you know, it's, it's not, it's not going to be that yo-yo bandwagon that so many of us have been through. So, uh, so that's it for today. But if you've got any, uh, any questions, um, drop me an email, uh, drop me a, a personal message on, um, on Facebook. Um, also, if you need, need some advice, if you need a training plan, if you need help with getting a mindset, exercise, nutrition, um, I do online fitness coaching, um, which comes with uh, nutrition coaching as well, I'm, um, a precision nutrition um, <coughs> uh, qualification. Um, and my online um, website, Start Fresh Personal Training, uh, has everything you need to get you from A to B. Um, and there's a lot of people that have some really good uh, success with it. So if you're interested in that or you want some help and you feel you can't do it on your own, drop me a line and we'll let me get you sorted out. Anyway, take care guys and um, I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers, bye bye.